Hey guys and welcome to RoboCat. In this PLC tutorial, we will learn about the comparison instructions in the TIA portal software. So let's begin. In the comparison block, we will be learning about the six instructions in which the first one is equal. Equal compares two values and it will return true in the output if both of these values are equal. Not equal will return true if both values input 1 and input 2 are not equal and the greater than instruction will output true if the value 1 is greater than the value 2 and the less than instruction will output true if value 1 is less than value 2 then we have the greater than or equal instruction basically it will be checking these two values if they are true then the output will be true and similarly for the less than or equal and now let's see how we can configure these instructions in the TIA portal software. So I'm going to select this line and I will be placing here this normally open contact and it will be working as the input switch. Now I will be selecting this line and I want a count up, a count up counter. So I will be double clicking on here CTU and click OK for this window. So count up counter is placed here. I will be selecting this line and in the drop down of the comparator operators I will be selecting this first one which basically verify the equality of two values. So finally I will be placing here the output. Okay now we are going to create the tag so I'm going to expand this window from here and in the PLC tags. I'm going to double click here on show all tags and here I will be creating all the tags for the buttons that we have just placed. So first tag is going to be the start button and then the reset button for the counter and here I will be using the current value which will be used for the counter and for the comparator block as well and then I'm going to be using here a motor which will be considered as the output. For the current value it should be double word the data type so in data type I will be placing here D word which means the double word and in the address it should be MD so it is right now MD0 and as I have already described the motor is output and for motor we will be using Q because for the output we use Q as identifier in the portal software and now let's assign all of these tags this is going to be the start button this is going to be the reset button for the counter and uh, this right here I'm gonna assign it 3 and for the CV I will be using current value tag that we have just created which we have assigned MD0 as address and this will be the same current value and this I'm gonna place it 3 so this will be comparing the current value of the counter and if it is equal to 3 or not and this is going to be the output. So first we will be turning on the simulation and since it is already working in my case so I am just simply downloading the program and turning on the monitoring mode from here. So as soon as you turn on the simulation this window will pop up here you have to create a new project and you have to click on create since I have already done that so I'm not gonna do that you have to expand this same table and double click on this same table underscore one so I'm gonna delete these tags so you have to click on this load tags option so all of these project tag tags will be here since I don't need these IEC counter tags so I'm gonna delete them and somehow you have to adjust both of these windows so that they can overlap and we can use both of them at the same time okay so the counter value right now is zero so when I toggle the start button or turn on the start button it's one right now and now it's two this is going to be the second pulse the value of the counter is two and as soon as it gets the third value or you can say it gets the third pulse now the output is has been turned on because the comparator or you can say equal instruction says that 3 is equal to 3 so that's why it 
enabled or you can say activates the output so this is about the equal instruction and how it works so I have reset the counter and now I am going to double click here and then expand it and this right here is not equal instruction so you can place it from here as well not equal instruction but I have changed it from here you have to download it so I'm gonna click on the load button and then you need to turn on the monitoring mode from here and let's see how the not equal instruction work as you can see uh, I have given some pulses but before that let's reset it and as you can see 0 is not equal to 3 and still the motor is not turned on or activated but as soon as we go beyond 3 like 4 is not equal to 3 now the motor is gonna turn on because the power supply was not there yet so that is basically the reason why the motor was not on although it was not equal okay now I'm gonna reset the counter and I'm gonna use another instruction this is the greater than instruction and if you want to change this uh, data type you can change it although we have to use here a uh, double integer the end okay so now I'm going to download the program from here and turn on the monitoring mode in order to see how the greater than instruction work so it should be working like when the counter value is greater than uh, the comparator value then the output should get turned on and I'm going to first reset the counter value and now as you can see the counter value is 0 so I'm going to give it some pulses 1 is not greater than 3 2 is not greater than 3 3 is not greater than 3 it's still off the motor is off right now but as soon as I give it another pulse which is going to be the fourth pulse now the motor has been turned on and it basically satisfies the instruction as well and now let's turn off the monitoring mode go offline and let's use the less than instruction so basically the output is not gonna turn on in this case I'm gonna turn on the monitoring mode because the power supply is not here yet so I'm gonna give the pulses one two three now the power supply is here but we since we are using the less than instruction so motor is not gonna turn on but it will definitely work when we are going to use less than or equal to instruction we will see how so right now I'm gonna use greater than or equal to instruction so this is the greater than or equal to instruction it will verify both of the condition if the value is greater or if the value is equal so now let's download and turn on the monitoring mode so right now I'm gonna reset it so that the value gets zero for the counter this is going to first second and third pulse now since we know that 3 is not greater than 3 but since we are using the greater than or equal so 3 is equal uh, to 3 so that's why it's gonna turn on and the value goes with the value beyond and 3 is gonna still turn on and finally we have the less than or equal to instruction so let's download the program and click on load button turn on the monitoring mode and in this condition only when 3 is equal to 3 only that condition the motor is gonna turn on or you can say the output is gonna turn on as you can see it from here when 3 is equal to 3 the motor is gonna turn on any other for any other value the motor is not gonna turn on so that's all for this video guys if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching